back to another tutorial. So today I decided to do the super simple glam with all new products that I'm super excited to try out. That way you guys end up liking some of the new products. You can go and purchase them. And as always, I'm going to be giving away one of the products that I use in this tutorial. So stay tuned till the end to learn how to enter. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is the primer that I have been loving. I've been honestly obsessed with it. I have not stopped using it. Me, Shelby, and Tina, of course you guys know when we love a product, we all end up liking it. And um, it's super hydrating on the skin. It feels super, super nice. And it's really tacky. That way whenever you add your foundation, it has somewhere to stick to. I've also been priming my lips before I start my makeup and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster and then the one that I used on my face was the Ultra HD Skin Booster and they just came out with these products and I've been obsessed with both of these. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever HD Liquid Foundation. I don't use the stick anymore and this is in the shade Y365. This one is actually darker than my stick foundation, which is why I use this one because I did get more tan. I'm just going to dot this all over the face. Moving on to concealer, I'm going in with this one right here. This is also by Makeup Forever in the shade Y31. Once that's done, I'm going to set my under eye area with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. As always, I don't think I'll use a different translucent powder. Now I'm just setting the rest of my face also with that translucent powder. I love setting my face with translucent powder because it literally does not make my makeup budge. It stays all day and especially with this hot weather coming up, this is a great trick for your makeup to stay on longer and for it to be sweat proof. I honestly think my makeup is sweat proof because of the translucent powder. I don't like putting face powders because they can come off all the time. So, since the hot weather is approaching us, you should try this trick and let me know if it works for you. Moving on, I'm going to be using this new bronzer that Becca just launched. This is in the shade Capri Coast. It is one of the goodies that I got on the Becca Scape trip. I have a whole vlog. If you guys did not know, I did go on a vacation with Becca Cosmetics and it was awesome. And I'm also going to be using the brush that comes with it. Where is it at? Oh, it's over here. So this is the shade that I'm in. They look somewhat shimmery, but when you put them on the face, they don't look shimmery at all. Wow, I really like this brush. It gives you like a really sharp contour. I'm not using this to bronze the face. I'm mostly using it to contour. I think this is going to be my favorite bronzer, especially because it's not too gray on my skin. Since I am olive tone, this pairs up perfectly. Now I'm going in with my fluffy Morphe brush, and I'm just going to diffuse that bronzer a bit. 
So the blush I am going to be using today is this one by Tarte. It's called Natural Beauty. These are super, super pigmented, so I'm only going to be lightly tapping it into the product because I don't want too much. Can you see that? I literally barely pounced it and it still has pigment. Since summer is coming, I love when I have rosy cheeks because it gives me that natural blush look instead of me looking like I'm sweating and I'm getting red. Next, I'm gonna snatch my nose using that same bronzer we just used. And I'm gonna go down the bridge of the nose right here. I'm gonna drag it over here by the eyebrows. And then what I like to do is since I already have a little butted nose, I just like to enhance it. So I'm gonna make it more round by going around the sides and right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but now my nose looks more round right there and then like going down here also and down here it adds a shadow so it makes it look like I have a bigger bottom lip perfect so the palette that I'm gonna be using on my eyes is this one right here this is by dose of colors this is the baked browns and it is my favorite palette at the moment so when you open it, this is what it looks like. You just have your neutral mauve shades. And oh my god, you guys, the pigmentation on these is crazy. I'm going to swatch all of them. They're so freaking buttery and pigmented. These are like crazy pigmented. When I say crazy, you guys, I had my friend um, swatch them and it was so nice. So there's that one. Mm -hmm. Which other one? This one is the one over here. Can you wait, can you just talk about that? I'm over here stumbling over my words. These are so freaking pigmented. Honestly, Dose of Colors has one of the best pigment formulas for their lipsticks and eyeshadows. So when they came out with the palette, I was super, super excited. So the look that I am gonna be doing with this palette is just gonna be like an everyday simple glam. That way if you're in a rush or if you just want to do something super simple but still cute, that's what we're going for today. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here which is called Outdoorsy. And I'm using the Makeup Shack T11, and this is one of my favorite brushes to blend. I do have a code with them just in case you want to buy them. So I'm starting off super lightly because these are super, super pigmented. And I'm just going to be buffing this into the crease and windshield wiper motions. So you're going to want to drag it out to the outer corner since we are not doing eyeliner. We still want the shadow to show on the side. Just keep going back and forth until you build that color. And with the T8 brush from also the Makeup Shack, I'm going to be picking up the same color and I'm going to start to apply that on the lower lash line. And I'm going to connect the two. Since the two are connected, now you're just going to want to flick it out. Just like so. I'm just using this clean brush just to soften up the edges. Then I'm going in with the Sigma brush, which is the E23, and I'm picking up this shade over here called Cherry Wood, and I'm gonna apply that to the center of the lid. Whoa, you guys see how pigmented they are? And this isn't even like a, a flat shader brush. The reason why I'm using a blending brush to apply this shade is that way I can buff out the edges with the other color so it won't look so harsh. I'm 
Repeat the same step with the smaller brush for the lower lash line. You guys, this look is so simple, which is why I love doing this look whenever I'm just going out shopping with my friends or if I'm going to like a birthday party, an event, and I don't want to get all glammed up, then this is what I do. Of course, if you don't have the palette, then you can just improvise with a similar colors. If you have the Modern Renaissance palette, I love just using raw sienna and burnt orange all over the lid and it looks super, super nice. Next, I'm just creating a super thin line. The lashes I'm going to be using are my favorite lashes at the moment, which is the Kim Thai Line Hearted Lashes in collaboration with Cake Face Beauty. These are honestly just amazing. They're so big and fluffy and wispy, which is what I love in a pair of lashes. So I'm going to quickly pop these on and I'll be right back. So now my falsies are on, I just put some mascara and liner on the bottom. And on the inner corner, we're going to be using this Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop in the shade Going Rogue. I'm not sure if that's gone. Look how beautiful that looks. It just opens up the eye. Ooh, I feel like this can honestly replace Crystal Avalanche. Just for the summertime. I'm also going to be adding this white shade on the brow bone. Just to make it look a bit more bright right here. Okay, now let's move on to highlighter, which is my favorite part of my whole entire makeup routine. This is a new product that I've been obsessing over, which is the Ofra collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. And I like to mix these two shades right here. They give me the perfect color. It's so pigmented. If you guys have not had a chance to get your hands on this, I highly recommend you do so. I also have a code with Ofra so you can use it. It's DAISY30. And if you do not get the chance to get your hands on the Nikki one, then I recommend Rodale Dry. That one is super, super pretty. Now for my nose, I'm just going to add it to the very tip right here. And then down at the bridge of my nose. I'm mostly focusing the highlight right here. And now going in with my fan brush. Whoa, my cheeks are literally glowing. Before we do the lips, I quickly want to talk about this product right here that I just fell in love with. This is the Makeup Forever Brow Liner. And I know that sounds super weird. It's literally a liner for your brows. So I used this yesterday and what I like to do is little strokes. Oh, went too ham right there. Then I like to use my spoolie to spread out the product. So it kind of gives it the effect of brow hairs. Now there is a lot of products, so be careful. <laughs> I just said be careful when this is the first thing I do. It's okay though, it comes off super easily. Now I'm going in with this Lippy Indie shade Oh Honey. These are new by Ciate. I wonder if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I like pronounce it wrong. Oh my god, these are so freaking buttery. And the setting spray that I've been loving lately is the L'Oreal Pro Spray Set. 
and I got the mini one because at first I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so I didn't wanna buy the full size because it is kind of expensive. Alright guys, so that completes today's look and the item that I'm going to be giving away today is a pair of Kim Ties lashes. So the way to enter is by answering the question and the question of the day is, what is your favorite food? It can honestly be anything. It can be cheesecake, enchiladas, seafood, anything you'd like. So comment down below what your favorite food is and I will pick a random giveaway winner. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!